joy. What do you want? I want joy. Meditate on the morning sunrise. Meditate on the winner of a race. Spread your wings. Real joy means immediate expansion. If we experience pure joy, immediately our heart will expand. We will spread our wings and feel that we are flying in the divine freedom sky. The entire length and breadth of the world will become ours, not for us to rule over, but as an expansion of our consciousness. We will become reality and vastness. You cannot bind inner joy. The very nature of inner joy is expansion, expansion, expansion. Child in a garden. You can have the most joy just by imagining a child infinitely more beautiful than any child that you have seen in this world. You have inside you a child who is infinitely more beautiful. Just imagine it. While imagining it, you will get utmost joy. When you feel that you are a child, immediately feel that you are standing in a flower garden. This flower garden is your heart. A child can play in a garden for hours. He will go from this flower to that flower, but he will not leave the garden because he will get joy from the beauty and fragrance of each flower. Inside you is the garden, and you can stay within it for as long as you want. In this way, you can meditate on the heart. Be like a child. Act like a child. Go from one flower to another in your heart garden until you find complete joy and perfect satisfaction. Joy in everything. When the heart is open, you will feel boundless joy, boundless love, and boundless purity. The first thing you will feel is purity. Purity inside you and outside you. You will feel infinite love, boundless love. And this love will be absolutely pure. It will be within you and without. Then you will see joy in everything. Now you are crying for joy. But a day will come when your heart is opened and you will get spontaneous joy from everything. You will look at a flower and get joy. You will look at a child and get joy. You will look at the world and get joy. You will also get peace and the feeling of universal oneness. True inner joy is self-created. It does not depend on outer circumstances or outer achievements. A river flowing. Joy, spontaneity, and self-giving always go together. If you have a joyful and spontaneous heart, that means you also possess a self-giving heart. Self-giving is the hyphen or connecting link between joy and spontaneity. Again, inside joy, you will find spontaneity and self-giving. You can become self-giving by constantly feeling joy in every part of your existence, from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. If you can feel that a river of spontaneous joy is flowing in and through you, then automatically you become self-giving in whatever you say, do, or grow into. Inner joy is spontaneous satisfaction. This satisfaction we discover in the heart of universal oneness. Offering joy to others. If our inner existence is flooded with joy and delight, only then shall we be eager, more than eager, to help the outer world. If there is a barren desert within us, if there is no light within us, how are we going to help? or serve mankind. If we have joy within, this joy today or tomorrow, sooner or later, 
we can bring to the fore and offer to mankind. We have to love mankind soulfully and serve mankind unconditionally. How can we offer joy to others? To offer joy to others, we first have to aspire within ourselves. We have to feel that the world is inside us, not outside us. We have to try to feel that the world is the projection of our life. First, we have to try to create our own world according to our own satisfaction. When we have created something within ourselves, achieved something divine within ourselves, let us say a world of joy and love, then immediately it will try to reveal and express itself to the world at large. If we have truly acquired joy, then gradually the people around us will be inspired and influenced by our joy. My heart shares joys to enjoy joy to the fullest. The soul comes to the fore. Sometimes you get tremendous joy that you cannot account for or explain. There is no outer reason, but you are just feeling spontaneous joy. It is because your soul has come to the fore at that particular time. If you see that your joy is going away while talking to someone, then immediately try to shorten your conversation with that person. If you are doing something that is taking away your joy, then immediately stop doing that thing. When you get joy from within and it is still very fresh, do not do anything that diminishes it until that joy is strengthened inside you. No matter how long it takes to assimilate this joy, whether it is a half hour or an hour or even two hours, just give yourself the time. Once it is assimilated into your system, then it is safe. Before you are secure in your joy, even one word from someone can take it away totally. So always be extremely careful when your soul comes to the fore and gives you spontaneous joy. Immediately, you should try to go deep within and assimilate it. Every day, my soul tries to lift me to the heights of summit joy. Two kinds of joy. The outer sign of progress is inner joy. This inner joy is not like a mad elephant. This inner joy is something very sweet, intense, and all the time fulfilling. Fulfilling in our thoughts and fulfilling in our actions at every moment for whoever is in touch with us and whoever thinks of us, this is inner joy. We have to know that there are two kinds of joy, outer joy and inner joy, and there is a subtle difference between them. We feel that the possessor of outer joy is somebody else, not ourselves. We feel that another human being has this joy and we try to get it. Although we do not want to adopt foul means, very often we want to snatch this joy from others. Again, we may try to get it by talking or mixing with others, but inner joy is not like this. When we meditate or contemplate, at that time, we feel that we are the soul of joy. This joy that we possess inside is like a fountain. It comes spontaneously. Inner joy has no fear. It can, if it wants, transform our human nature in the twinkling of an eye. If we can experience true inner joy even for a second, we will feel that the world is totally different. Now, we feel that we will have to change our attitude towards certain aspects of the creation if we want to have joy. Because the world is constantly fighting and doing all undivine things. But if we can look at the world with our inner joy, we will see that the world is already changed. Nothing gives me as much joy 
as the sailing boat of my silence heart. The sunlit path. When the day dawns, you want to start your morning with inspiration. If you lose inspiration in the morning, then it will be gone most of the day. To get inspiration, early in the morning, please offer your joy, love, and gratitude to God. Even if you have very little to offer, God will give you much more. He will make you feel that you are his true child and give you the feeling of inseparable, divine oneness with him. If you could offer love, joy, and gratitude early in the morning, then you can receive the best form of meditation. In our daily practical life also, there is a way for us to get joy. If we lead a simple life and go to our goal on a direct path, if we walk along a sunlit path, then we can have joy. A simple life is the life of happiness. A direct path is the path of joy. A sunlit path is the path of constant joy. The Divine Attitude There are two kinds of work. In the ordinary kind of work, you do something, and then immediately you look for the result. Then, when you get the result, you say, perhaps I could have gotten a better result. There is no end to it. If you want real joy, you will not get it by fulfilling a desire for a particular result. In the second kind of work, you do not care for the result. Only by having the right attitude will you become a happy person. If you do the work with a divine attitude, then it will not be the result that gives you joy, but the very act itself. Nobody can be as happy as a person who has detachment. When we are attached to something or someone, we actually become a victim of that person or that thing. If we want to have true joy and true peace, then we must be totally detached. This detachment does not mean that we shall not work for the world. No, we shall work for the world, in the world, but we shall not allow ourselves to be caught by anything. Joy is in the vision light of non-expectation. Which world? Suppose you want to know which field of creativity is meant for you. While your creative self is revealing its capacity in various fields, try to observe which field gives you most joy and satisfaction. If the poet in you gives you immediate joy, then throw yourself into the poetry world. If the artist in you gives you spontaneous joy, then throw yourself into the art world. If the musician in you gives you spontaneous joy, then throw yourself into the world of music. Immediately accept whatever field gives you the most joy. Your very acceptance of this is the best way of serving the highest. When I have inner joy, I will always be blessed with an abundance of spontaneity and creativity. Overcoming tension. We can have more joy and less tension in life only in self-giving, not in demanding. When there is tension, it is because we want something to be done in our own way while others want it done in their way. Tension starts in the mind because we see light in one way and others see light in some other way. So there is no peace, no poise, only tension. Tension also comes when we want to do in the twinkling of an eye something that takes two hours or two days to do. We have to know that God has not thought of it in that way. 
God wants us to take two hours or two days to achieve it. If we can keep God's hour in our minds and not our own hour, we will get joy. We must see that God operates not only in us, but in others as well. God also operates in our so-called enemies. But these are not our real enemies. Our real enemies are our doubt, fear, anxiety, and worry. When we do not try to perfect others, but only try to perfect our own lives, then we will have joy. Also, if we do not expect anything from anybody else, but expect everything only from God, then we will have joy. If we can feel that we are not indispensable, that without us the world can go on perfectly well, then we will have joy. This is the way we can all have abundant joy in our lives. You want to free yourself from your daily pressures. I am telling you the secret. Every day try to spend some time inside your soul's divinely redolent pleasure garden. Do not hesitate. Silver pool, golden boat. Here is another exercise you can try. Please imagine a disc rotating around your heart. Now you will chant delight or om or supreme. Inside that circle, which is the heart center, please imagine that your heart is a flower garden, absolutely larger than the largest. Inside that large garden, try to see a most beautiful, and very large swimming pool. The water of the swimming pool is silver. You are swimming, diving, and doing all sorts of things that give you joy. Then see inside the swimming pool a golden boat. Enter into the golden boat, and while you are entering it, try to imagine that your entire being has become totally Golden. Imagine a beautiful golden boat sailing on a river towards a golden shore. You are in that boat, O oh seeker, sailing on that very river, and eventually, without fail, you will reach that golden shore. Our larger self. Here on earth, we want to get joy. But how do we get joy? We get joy not by coming forward before others, but by bringing others to the fore. Real joy we get by self-giving, not by possessing or by showing our own supremacy. When we allow others to get joy first, then we feel that our joy is more complete and more perfect. Each individual knows that in the human world, he gets joy real joy, abiding joy, in serving and in self-giving. Walk farther, dive deeper, fly higher. The world needs both inner and outer joy. If we do not get the ultimate inner joy, we can at least try to offer and receive innocent outer joy. From pure innocent joy, we can go one step ahead and get inner joy. We have to know that there is a great difference between pleasure and joy. Pleasure is something that binds, something that is fleeting. Pleasure immediately is followed by frustration, anxiety, worry, and depression. Joy, real joy, is something that constantly grows and flows. Something that gives us the feeling that we can walk farther, dive deeper, fly higher. Joy, once attained, grows like a fragrant flower, blooming petal by petal. What is actually happening 
is that the human world, the outer consciousness, is crying for pleasure. And each time pleasure is fulfilled, we see that frustration looms large in our pleasure. But if we feel that joy is coming into our lives, then joy grows into more joy, abundant joy, boundless joy. Pleasure is a brief word. Joy is a shining and glowing word. Love is a transforming word. Concern is a fulfilling word. Plowing the inner field. Inside us is a vast field. We have to cultivate it like a farmer. We have to plow the inner field. And after we have plowed, we have to sow the seed, the seed of our aspiration, the seed of our concern for the inner life. Then, after a few months or after a year or so, we may get a real glimpse of inner joy. Inner joy is always something rare. Real joy we get only from our silent and profound meditation. In the outer life, when we talk and mix with people or exchange ideas with others, we may get a kind of satisfaction, but this is not real joy. Joy is something very deep, illumining, and fulfilling. Always try to cultivate happiness. Happiness is the strength of a lion and the power of an elephant. Nothing can stand against happiness, inner happiness. All-pervading joy. When an aspiring seeker is totally surrendered to God's will, he will get abundant joy. He will feel all joy in his heart and he will live in constant joy. He will not be able to account for it or give any meaning to it. Early in the morning, when he first gets up, he will get a very sweet feeling or sensation. If he touches a wall, he will get joy. If he touches a mirror, he will also get joy. His own joy enters into everything he sees. At times, he may see that a solid wall is full of joy. A tree will be full of joy. If a taxi cab goes by, he will see intense joy in the driver, even in the car itself. His inner joy will enter into each person, each object, and it will pervade everything. Love and joy can live everywhere, but they prefer to live in the smiles of a sweetness heart. The Secret of Satisfaction how can we get satisfaction from life? Satisfaction we can get only when we give to somebody else, to our larger self, to humanity. We can get joy only by becoming one with humanity, by sharing our reality with others, if we are humble. If we become like the tree, which constantly bears fruit, then we will get satisfaction and we will be able to give satisfaction to mankind. Boundless joy will never be yours unless you know the secret of secrets, and that secret is your indivisible oneness with each human being on earth. <laughs>